with this crossover 27 QD-P special edition monitor, you can finally cross over to 1440p gaming. This monitor had more packing than any other monitor I've seen shipped from South Korea. So if you've ever had anything shipped and it was damaged, uh, you know, some of the other monitors from South Korea, uh, you could basically fit three of them in the uh, volume that they use to ship just one. So lots of foam, lots of bubble wrap, uh, <laughs> lots of good packing. So that'll be really good. Let's do a quick rundown of the specs on this monitor. It's a matte AH IPS panel. It's 2560 by 1440. That's QHD resolution or 1440p. It is a matte finish. It's not a glossy finish, so it has an anti-glare coating. The anti-glare coating is very good. It does not affect the sharpness uh, for my eye. Some anti-glare coatings can make the pixels a little bit blurry. This particular one is well executed. It has a single dual link DVI input port. Uh, it was a screw that you have to unscrew in the back of the stand and then the that sort of unlocks the stand and then at that point you have height control. It can pivot, it has elevation, tilt, swivel, and the it's got the anti-glare, you know, matte coating that I mentioned before. Um, it is... Uh, uh, 178 degrees is the viewing angle, 1,000 to 1 contrast ratio. The brightness is 350 CDs per square meter. The response rate is rated at 6 milliseconds. Although if you really want to see more information about the uh, monitor latency in general, not just this monitor, check out our monitor latency shootout video where we sort of dive in and show that we've got a Samsung panel that advertises 1 millisecond response time. It's actually slower than another panel that advertises a 6 millisecond response time. So this is a very excellent panel for gaming. Uh, power consumption 65 watts with less than one watt of power used uh, during standby. And you're supposed to be able to overclock these to 95 hertz. But I need to show you how to do that. So we're going to do a little mini how-to right here. Okay, welcome to the quick and dirty monitor overclocking how-to. Now this applies to these crossover monitors directly because those are guaranteed to hit 95 hertz uh, from what I understand. Uh, you may have another monitor that you've imported. Some of the older Korean monitors could also hit 95 hertz. You know, some of the ones we reviewed would, have, would hit 75 hertz. You know 72 Hertz uh, this way is the easiest way on Windows I think so what you'll want to do is just search for toasty X all one word custom resolution utility this will be the first hit it's a link to uh, monitortests.com. it's got a nice forum thread uh, there's two files you got to download you got to download the custom resolution utility and then you got to download a thing that's specific to your video card to unlock the ability to overclock your monitors and so um, what you'll do is you'll come down here and it says, oh, this is the ATI AMD pixel clock patcher, or this is the NVIDIA pixel clock patcher. And so I've got an ATI card in this. I'm going to download the ATI pixel clock patcher. That's this file. And then when you run it, it's going to ask you for admin privileges because it's going to change your system. And you'll get a pop-up like this one. Now, yours will just say found instead of already patched. Um, I had uh, done that earlier and uh, accidentally forgot to record it. So I'm re-recording it, and I'm, just, I'm not going to bother unpatching. So, um, again, so... If you want to undo it, like if you have problems with this or something doesn't work and you think that, you know, you need to undo this as part of your troubleshooting, you can run this again later and uh, hit yes and it will restore from backup. But the first time you run this, it's going to ask you, hey, do you want to patch it? And you say, yeah, I want to, I want to patch. And then uh, you'll do that. And then you'll need to reboot uh, just to make it take effect. There, you could go in Device Manager and like reset the graphics card. There's utility to reset the graphics card so you don't have to reboot, but I just go ahead and reboot. Um, and then you can run the custom resolution utility, which is the first link on this thread. So you download that, you run that, you get this. This drop down menu are the monitors that are connected to your machine. Uh, and so you'll, you'll want to pick the, the uh, crossover monitor from the list. I don't actually have it hooked up to this machine right now. I'm just gonna, just gonna show you guys. And then you'll hit add for a custom resolution. Now make sure that it's the 2560 by 1440 uh, resolution, uh, uh, you know, when you're, uh, when you're gonna add it or if you're gonna edit an existing one. And you'll wanna change the refresh rate to 95 hertz. Now different video cards and different configurations mean that you may have to fiddle with this value a little bit. If it doesn't work at 95, you might try 94. You might also try 75, 74, uh, 72, um, and just see what you can get on your particular monitor. These crossover monitors should hit 95 hertz, but some video cards can't do exactly 95 hertz because of their clock generation. This particular one will do 95.002 hertz. And so that's why you might have to back it off a little bit to 94 hertz. Now it's gonna calculate the other values that you need, but if you're uh, a gearhead, you can play with those parameters. You can learn more about monitor timings 
and uh, squeeze a little bit more uh, out of your uh, monitor potentially. And then you can also control the polarity and, and some other things that, that will override what your monitor reports. Normally the EDID specification on a monitor will, a monitor will notify the computer through that communication channel what these parameters should be. But these monitors report that they're capable of 60 hertz because that's the lowest common denominator. But we know the panel can do 95 hertz and because these monitors have the pass through then uh, we know that you know we can do 95 hertz even though the EDID doesn't advertise that as a capability. We know we can do it. So once you do that, you'll hit OK, then you'll need to reboot again. You can right click on the desktop, go to screen resolution, and click on the monitor that you want to change, go to advanced settings, monitor, hit the drop down, and the custom refresh rate that you specified should be in here. Click that and click a OK. You might have to check that, but I kind of doubt it. I don't think you do. Um, just be aware that hide modes this monitor cannot display is there. I don't think that you'll need that though. Um, and then once you do that, Windows will switch to that mode and then if something goes wrong, just let your computer sit for about 15 seconds and it'll revert to the previous resolution and you can try a different refresh rate. So just be aware that that's, that that's there. Well, that's been the mini how-to on how to overclock your monitor. It should take you all, once you get the files, it should take you all of about five minutes to do that, so it's really not a big deal. Um, again, this is for the crossover monitor, it's, which su is, is supports 95 hertz, even though it's not reported by the EDID. So that's what this is aimed at, but if you've got an older monitor that you've imported from Korea, well, it might work on that, it might not, it just depends on what kind of panel it's got internally. Um, if you guys are thinking about getting one of these, or you got one of these, or you want more information, come on over to the Tech Syndicate forums. I'm sure that, you know, we've got the original uh, 1440p monitor club video, and 1440p is a, is a glorious uh, resolution. And having used 4K, probably not going to move to 4K, probably going to move to 5K, which is a doubling of the 1440p resolution, because I just can't, I can't give up the screen real estate that I get with 1440p. So, <laughs> I really, really like 1440p. These things are on sale, it's got a really nice stand. Um, if you guys wanna uh, you know, do anything with it or you order one of these and you get it in, you know, come let us know in the forums. We wanna hear about it. And if you guys have any problems or using this utility, the overclock utility or setting up your monitor or anything, come to the forums and let us know. This is Wendell, signing out, take care. Mm -hmm.